Today, we're going to be continuing our Rolodex primer. For those of you who don't know what a primer is, it's basically uh, an aid for young children to learn their ABCs, right? It could be a book for them to learn to read as well, but we're going to use it as a way to learn ABCs using this Rolodex that I found at the thrift store. So we did A last time, and now we're going to be working on B. B, surprisingly enough, was a lot easier than A. Who knew? So when I look through the children's dictionary that I have, that I also bought at the thrift store, I believe that the books at the thrift store, all children's books were 99 cents. So I did get this children's dictionary, which you may be able to find. It's in horrible shape for um, a child to have in like their room or whatever. It just doesn't look very good. But it still works really well and has lots of pictures on the inside. A didn't have as many good pictures, I felt, as B. B had a lot of really good pictures. So I had to choose. I also brought in some little makes that I had when I was looking through my stash. <laughs> and I thought all of those would be good. Here we have a bagel, a beetle, a banjo, a boomerang, and a bed. I thought all of these items were pretty fun too. So I thought we could get three pages out of these items. Um, at least we would have a chance at getting three pages. And so we first need to cut the paper that goes in. As you saw from the A, we're just gonna be inserting these in. So I also thought, <laughs> see, I'm really thinking here, I would use blue because blue starts with B as well. How cool is that? Dimensions we're working with here then are three and a half by two. And then we're gonna round the edges. So three and a half by two. And I thought the blue with the background would be fun. We'll see if it works out or, or not. If, it, if it's too busy, we can always change it. It's the best part. So I was hoping to get three out of here, did I? Two, four, six, we should, right? Yeah, okay, or it should be close anyway. All right, so that's what we need cut out of there. And then thought I, I thought I would use my Sizzix, if I could speak properly, Sizzix Sidekick to make a couple of Bs for us. Now I was thinking that the red might stand out pretty well on the blue. Or, I mean, we could do a white or a dark blue, but I, I'm gonna try a red one and let's see how it looks. It is so cold here today. Super cold. Glad I'm staying in my nice warm house in my craft room today, having fun. All right, so this bee, might look pretty good. Let's take a look at how it looks on here. I think it kind of stands out. You know what I think would make it even stand out better is if it did have a little block around it, possibly. Um, a little block of white around it so it stands out a little bit more. Let's try that. So let's run it through and get another B. Where did my die go? Here it is. <laughs> okay. Missing piece over here. All right. So let's try this through. Get us a nice little bee out of here. And then we'll put one with a little white background and one we'll let live on there the way it is. And we'll see how that goes. So let's do this. I'm going to plan on three. Let's get this, the corners rounded. Now I'm going to use this little rounder for this because I believe it's got a smaller rounder than my big one has. Um, it just does a little bit. Yes, there's a, there's another side on this. And I might even use the other side next for the next letter because it's cameras. So that might be kind of fun to use for the next the next letter. But I did like the blue because... You know, again, 
be looking for bee things, so maybe I should look for a C color. I think cameras in the background might be kind of neat. We'll see how it goes. It may not be for all of them. It may only be for one of them. But if you have a little corner rounder, I'm really contemplating getting the corner chomper. Um, just because I like that it has the one that looks kind of um, almost square on it on the corner and I like the way it looks but you, I can't get that look myself and I also like that when you're using it you can cut like all three of these I could have done at one time because it's very very strong I have a the one for the um the rivets or whatever you call. oh that one didn't do very good did it let me let's go back you know how you find those later there we go that's much better Sometimes I find those later when I'm inking. So what I thought we would do is use some prize ribbon and be able to use that around the blue. I could have gotten uh, the new Tim Holtz if I would have had it already. I could have used brown because brown starts with B. <laughs> um, called scorched timber but you know it's brown <laughs> it's a brown but I decided to use blue I think blue is a good color and we do have some brown in some of our items if you wanted to point that out I don't think everything on the page has to match with the letter but it's kind of fun if you can it might be a subtle thing but now that I now that I did it I'm sure I will when I get to P want to do pink and make a pink background or you know it could be doesn't have to be for everyone but yeah it could be something to do so we'll well i like to make the outsides i just think it looks more i don't know finished and more more fun so that was prize ribbon distress prize ribbon that i was using for that let's work on one at a time what i thought i would do is take don't like the way I cut that very well. Okay. Again, this is just fussy, fussy cutting around them. So if they don't come out great, sometimes that happens. Now, last time I did this, and I thought I was going to go around with some white. Ooh, what if we did this? This is kind of fun. I used this for something else, but what if we put that? Yeah, yeah. Let's try, let's try it and see. Gonna cut this and this. Sometimes I get an idea in the middle of something. So if I did this and this, and you'll notice it's not exactly the straightest I've ever done. So let's redo that. I got excited because I like the idea. And that's a lot of crafting, you know, don't get married to an idea and think that, oh, this is the only way I can do it, you know, have have fun with it. If it something else strikes your fancy, go with it. You remember, it's just paper. Oops, that one didn't come out very good. Come on. You can do it. That one must not be quite on there exactly the same. All right, here we go. Should I save the pink one for when I get to the P now? <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's put this B on here and see how it looks. If it looks as good. I think it stands out pretty good, right? And I think for the ones that are like this, I think that might be good. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to glue a little bit of it down. I need to fill up my glue, it looks like. Looks like it's got a little bit of, that's how you usually find out that you need something new is when you go to use it and it's empty though, right? So if you're like me anyway, I just kind of use it until, until I need more. That's looking like it needs some more. All right, now do I go around the outside of this? Well, of course I do. That's kind of par makes the bee stand out a little bit more and you know gives it its little rightful place so now we've got this one and we've got this one 
I don't know. I might want to do that. Look at that. I like the way that looks. Okay. The banjo, because, you know, and the beetle. I don't know about the beetle in the bed. <laughs> that might not work the way I wanted it to, but here we are. So we put the banjo across. I kind of like that, but where am I going to put this bee? Or do I put this bee right across it like that? I like the banjo going across. Let's see what else we could do. Maybe I should cut these a little bit closer so that they won't be so. Let's see. I don't know about the beetle and the bagel in the same one. That's kind of my problem with that. But I do like the bed and the bagel. There's a little something up here, huh? Hmm. All right, let's hold that one. And then we got a beetle, a banjo, and a boomerang. Woohoo! Then maybe I could just put the bee right on top. Let it kind of be like, hey, these three things. Kind of liking that. I think I might want to just cut this off just a little bit. I'm sure you're looking at this saying, I would never have done that because that's what I do when I watch videos. I always say, huh, I wouldn't have done it that way. I would have done this. So if you have something some idea that you that I'm really missing here that would be the ideal answer to this please feel free to give me a comment let me know what you would do I'm okay with you know whatever but once I glue these down I'm not redoing them but I would appreciate feedback because you know that's a good thing to know so the next time when I'm making it I might consider it as like hey remember last time I did some the, the B, I did this, and some so-and-so said this. Now, see this one here, I didn't cut in very close. I like when you fussy cut. If you get just a little bit of the idea. I was cutting this out of the book, so I might not have done the best. But I think it looks cute. And I know that most kids eat bagels. And I know that that'll make it more more fun to have a little bagel in there I like bagels bagels and cream cheese are pretty good all right I think that looks pretty good we got bed and bagel and I'm gonna put this guy on top so let's put our beetle down and I'm not going around the beetle as much just because I think it helps them stick out a little bit from the from the paper so you can see them with because the background's a little busy and then I'll put this down luckily this paper isn't buckling and such when you're putting wet glue on but I am putting with this top I am putting a very small amount of glue on here. So with the nose, the little nib on here, it makes it a very small amount. I think that's helping a lot. And then this guy's gonna go across there. Now what I did notice again, I kind of missed. This is when I call this my correcting area, right? <laughs> but the rest of it I'm okay with. Get just a little bit so you're not getting too much. And put this going across here like this. We got a boomerang. This one here is just a little bit. I'm just going to cut it even with the end like it was at the end. And you can cut it, have it going off if you know what it is. Like this could be going off the. But I kind of wanted to leave most of it on there. And then I'm going to put that B right here. I think that's going to look good. It's a little bit different than the other one.
So hopefully when we put this in the corner, what I was thinking too is the beetle would kind of look like he was crawling out of there. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't want to, I just couldn't put the beetle with the bagel because or the bed. It didn't seem right. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm worried I'm going to run out of space because these have backgrounds on them. I might have to, yeah, I might have to ditch some of the backgrounds, which may be for the best because this, like this background is really big. I like the little bee. And the bow. Let's do this. Let's try cutting these off like this. Putting the bow there. Let's cut these a little closer. Make it a little smaller. These are my Tim Holtz haberdash, I think that's what they're called, haberdash scissors. I really like these a lot for a lot of different things. They're really nice to have in the craft room. This butterfly, I really like it on this background. Um, I'm just wondering if I can put it up here like this. So I can get the butterfly in there if I can maybe not have it all the way on here. There you go. We're not going to see much of the background on this one at all, are we? So that'll go in there. So that'll help. I put the a little bit like that. And where's my... Oh, so the beam we're going to use from here. Like we did before. I think I did put a little bit of a ink around it, but let me let me make it a little bit square. At least try. <laughs> Maybe not. Try this. Put a little bit of blue around it. We'll put it right here. Now that might be in some of the pocket in the little sides that are on there. So I'm a little concerned about that. Maybe I could put this bird over here instead and put him in the middle because I think that'll be okay. I think this is a good one. Actually, you know what? This would be the best one because look, this corner probably will be the best for that. I really like this bird. It looks cool. There's all these different backgrounds on here. So this is kind of a fun one. I did not make this with the idea in mind of a primer. I just found these the other day when I was looking and thought, oh, there's one or two that I could use. And then it became three or four. I was like, wow, so many blue, so many B words that are in here that would uh, be helpful. So I could put this one over the top. Hope you can see what I'm doing. And then put the B and the B in the middle so you can see them really well. Pretty happy with that. These puffy uh, stickers, oh, they are puff, puffy stickers. I really like them for making little embellishments like this. They look like little stamps. You know, you cut around them with your fancy. I think that one came out good. So here we have our three different bees <laughs> that will go into our Rolodex. So thanks for joining me today. Next time we'll be looking at the letter C. I feel like I belong on Sesame Street when I say that, but that's okay because Sesame Street is pretty awesome. I'm okay if I belong on Sesame Street. Keep crafting! And dance by the light of the moon